The NVIDIA Shield 2019 is an awesome streaming device. You have the Pro and then you have the um, toilet paper roll version, as I like to call it. And uh, they're both rocking the same X1 Tegra chip and they're very, very fast. Um, this one has a way better price point and it's often on sale and that's why I'm focusing on this one. It emulates games amazing. So in this video, I wanna go ahead and try a bunch of the systems that tend to struggle on a lot of other single board computers and smaller Android boxes. And this one being pretty powerful, you're gonna find that it does actually perform with Nintendo 64 emulation, with Sega Saturn emulation, with PSP emulation, and also Dreamcast emulation. So we're gonna go through each system, share my thoughts. We're not gonna actually set up any emulators in this video, it's really just to show you the performance, so it'll help you if you're considering buying it or not, but also show off some of this game footage and see what you can look forward to. All these emulators are really easy to get through the Google Play Store, um, but I'll save that for a different video. Let's check out some emulation. So I did want to do a quick comparison, and this will help a lot of people out. I want to compare the Fire Stick 4K, which is slightly faster than the Raspberry Pi 4. And then we have the Shield TV 2019 on the far right, and then we have the Shield TV 2017 in the second column. I just wanted to show you a quick comparison so we could see what kind of emulation performance we can expect. So Geekbench, which just does raw power on a CPU single core, multi-core, or GPU. Now, um, the Raspberry Pi 4 and the Fire Stick are both quad-core processors running a similar architecture, so they should be fairly simple. So as you see, just single CPU performance, almost double does the Shield TV have. This is weird to me why the, this 2017 has higher um, specs than the 2019, but um, we have the 2019 here um, as far as GPU. This is going to be your Nintendo 64 and your emulation that requires a lot more GPU performance, PSP, things like that. Um, you'll see compared to almost, again, double the performance. And then as far as in the multi-core, almost double as well. So you're going to see a lot of performance benefits from the Shield TV. Now, I'm only comparing it to the Raspberry Pi 4 because those a lot of my viewers look at it but as you know there's lots of android tv boxes and android sticks for your tv and for your streaming experiences but i want to do this video to show you why the nvidia shield is a really good contender 3d mark look at those numbers like they just skyrocket compared to some of the other boxes pc mark so very good again the only thing that comes even close is the b-link gt so this is Quake 3 Arena running on the ReDream emulator and uh, you can download the ReDream emulator standalone or you can go ahead and um, you can install different uh, emulators through RetroArch that will also play Dreamcast. So here's MSR um, Street Racing, great little game, you can drift these little cars, I'm not that great at it, but uh, as you see here running full frames no problem whatsoever. This game runs on a lot of stuff though, the Raspberry Pi 4, but um, you can expect the majority of the Dreamcast catalog to run just fine. The ReDream emulator is really easy to change your controls, save states, switch through games, and it even has an HD functionality where you can get high definition Dreamcast games. So it's definitely worthy and the system runs it just fine. Next up we have the Nintendo 64 and I played a GoldenEye in the last video so check out my channel I did a video on 4k Nintendo 64 games and this is the 4k Nintendo 64 game being played right now and as you see it looks great a lot of the jagged edges are removed something I like about the shield is you can add wireless controllers really easily so your Xbox one controllers, your PS4 controllers. I'm running the 8-bit Doe SN30 Pro controller. It actually has a lot of compatibility with a lot of devices. Now here's Killer Instinct and you'll see mixed results but I'm really, I'm at 69 resolution at 4K and you'll see I have a little bit of struggle but it's totally playable. I can easily downgrade it to 1080 and have no problem whatsoever. But I'm really liking it and I really like the full screen, especially once you get used to it. So here it is in the 4-3 ratio. 
and as you see, it's running a little smoother. Same lineup. Alright, and then next I just threw this in there, but your Atari, your Nintendo, your family computer system, your uh, Sega CD, Sega 32X, uh, Super Nintendo, all that stuff is going to run just fine, easy to set up, and you can play all those classic retro consoles very, very easily. So I had no doubt about this, but in case you were curious, it runs very, very well no issues whatsoever. Alright, now PPSSP. Um, you can download this in the Google Play Store. Great little emulator. There is a gold version as well, but you can get away with the basic free version. And uh, here I am at 4x resolution, and not a single frame drop. You can see the frames in the upper right corner. And uh, it's running really smooth. Here it is, we'll start a new race. That was my first race. This time I turned up the difficulty a little bit. But as you see, even from the start, where a lot of games tend to lag right here, well, every, you, know, you have all the audience members, you have a lot of cars on the screen, but as you see, it's handling it really well. This game is not super intensive as much as God of War is, for example, so we'll jump into that in just a second. So here we are. We're gonna start with 2x. I've already started playing. And as you see, it's running really well. It's not perfect. You do get some frame drops. But I can tell you from using other devices, this is running a lot better. Now I upped up the res some more, but I also have less things on the screen now. And it actually handled it really well. And as you see, it looks great. That's just something amazing. Like, look how good this game looks. I was very, very impressed by this. So whether it's a video, a cutscene, or you're in the gameplay, it's working really well. Now, this is PlayStation. PlayStation shouldn't lag at all. There's a lot of there's a great PlayStation emulator in RetroArch, and uh, you could just load up your PBP files, and uh, they'll run. So this is Mortal Kombat trilogy. I was trying to figure out the controls, didn't work out though on this on this turn. Uh, so PlayStation, you shouldn't have any issues. Bloody Roar. Uh, Donald Duck Racing, all those good PlayStation games aren't working. So, um, Die Hard Arcade for the Sega Saturn. And uh, if you want to get this emulator, you just want to type Sega in the Google Play Store, and there is a Sega Saturn emulator there. Now here, I've upscaled the Sega Saturn emulator, uh, the same emulator that you find in the Play Store. Um, and... Um, I'm playing on Sega Saturn full screen with the wide 16:9 aspect ratio, and as you see, no, it's showing my frames as well, no large frame drops. So you're going to be able to play the majority of the Sega Saturn library. A lot of that has to do with the emulator and the updates and things like that. But so far, I've found great performance in Sega Saturn. So that about does it for the emulation video. As you see, it will play all retro games, including Nintendo 64, Dreamcast, Sega Saturn, PlayStation. You're not going to get very good results with PlayStation 2. There, you can do Dolphin on the Pro version, but I don't have the Pro version. That's actually one of the biggest downsides sides is it doesn't run 64-bit applications. So if that's a deal breaker for you, then go ahead and go out for the Pro, but you actually can't find the Pro right now, they're sold out. So you're gonna have to go on eBay or you're gonna have to buy the older 2017 NVIDIA Shield, which is still very good as you saw from those stats earlier. So if you'd like to see how to install this stuff, how to get started with RetroArch, that's my next video I'm working on. But uh, as you see here, it's running these games really well. And when this thing's on sale, it makes a mean emulation machine. 
And don't forget, you're still getting, you know, Dolby Vision. You're still getting 4K capabilities. You're still getting, if you have a surround sound, Dolby Atmos, um, you're having the latest and the greatest and a lot, a lot of things. So um, check that out. Also, if you um, are interested, I did a video on how to do Nintendo 64 in 4K. I posted that video uh, earlier. Have a look at that one. So in conclusion, I'm very impressed by this. I've been wanting to get a new NVIDIA Shield just to hammer it out and see what it, all the fuss was about, and I was not disappointed. Too many other reviews that I've heard, I love the fact that people say that this at $100 or like the $120, $130 price point, this thing is such a great deal. But to everyone else saying like, yeah, $200, like that's, you know, you can get a PC for that price. You can get a laptop for that price. So um, the price to performance at the 130, the 120, you know, the 120, if it ever gets down to 100, is just remarkable. So keep that in mind when you're, if you're looking out for one. But um, I got to recommend this, um, even if you have to pay full price, um, if you're going to use these features, use it to emulate, use it for 4K content. Um, it is quite a thing. So that's what I think. Let me know what y'all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.